Hello YouTubers, this is Gerbil Owner 75 and I had a video request from Emily's Animals 9612. She requested that I do a video on gerbil diet. So here I'm going to show you the food and some of the treats that I feed to my three gerbils. So this is the container that I keep their main diet in. And in here I have a mix of Tropical Carnival and Oxbow Essentials hamster and gerbil food. I really like the Tropical Carnival. It seems to have a good variety of different seeds and corn and not too, too many of the fattier bits like peanuts and sesame seeds. There's also some bits of dried fruit. Um, there is pumpkin seeds, and if I can find some, there are bits of pretzel, which I usually try to break those up because some of them come in larger pieces, so I break them up and it just spreads around more. And there is pasta, which I can't, oh, here's one, pasta. And I mix that in with the Oxbow Essentials which comes in a bag like this. I don't have a bag for the Tropical Carnival, but the Oxbo Essentials, sorry, can't read that. Hamster and gerbil food, it's nutritionally complete, so I like that, so I figure if they get a little too picky with the mix, then at least they're eating some of this, which has vitamins and things that they need. And it also comes in really handy when I have to have someone dribble sit. I can just make sure that there's plenty of the Oxbow in the mix and I don't have to worry about the dribble sitter making sure that they are eating a variety of their food. Now on to some of the treats. I have two kinds of treats in this bucket. I have these which are, um, I'm not really sure which brand, but they're kind of like dried papaya treats and my gerbils really seem to love those. And then here I have some yogurt type treats, which I know aren't super healthy for the gerbils, but I do feed them occasionally and the pieces are about this big, so I break them up into smaller bits and feed them to the gerbils that way. Another thing I feed to my gerbils on occasion are these, I think they're oat sprays. They really enjoy chewing on those and tearing them up and eating them. I also purchased this hamster and gerbil forage mix. I found this, um, it's National Geographic brand. I found it at PetSmart, I believe it was. Um, it's a small pet treat, a nut-free treat that encourages its natural foraging, foraging instincts. If I can open that up, I can show it to you. Oops, sorry there. So it's got a lot of hay and dried carrot and some pellets and oats and lots of pretty good stuff here. I'm not sure if I would buy this again or not just because it does have a lot of the hay and the pellets which the gerbils don't eat as much but it is still like a nice change. Sometimes I sprinkle it around after their cage cleaning to give them something to kind of forward around and hunt for. Another thing that I bought recently is these Tropical Carnival Mini Corn on the Cob Treat with the husks. I've tried it once and here they are. That's what they look like. Um, I tore off the husks because you're not supposed to heat them with the husks and gave the husks to the gerbils to just kind of chew up. And then I did try popping these in the microwave 
Um, I'm not sure if I would pop them again next time or not, because they do pop pretty unevenly. But, Dribbles enjoyed it a little bit. They don't seem super crazy about them. Another thing I like to feed my Dribbles on occasion is just regular old oats. And there's a sunflower seed in there, sorry. Um, just, I pulled this out from our box of Quaker um, old-fashioned oatmeal. Just be careful because the instant or the flavored oatmeals might have other ingredients in there. You don't want to, um, you know, make sure that there's not other ingredients in there that could be bad for your dribbles. But this is just the oats. So they seem to enjoy having that. I'm making a mess. Another thing, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to list classified as a treat or a chew or not, but these are kind of, I believe they have rice in them, so I figured I'd put them at the treats. They're just little edible chews. They're pretty soft. You know, the dribbles would chew them up pretty quickly. And the last thing, I just bought these today, so I'm really not sure over how well they'll go over with them, is the Fluker's Mealworms. They're freeze-dried. Um, these are $10, but they came in a pretty big jar, can, uh, <laughs> it's neither of those, but anyway. So hopefully it'll last about, and hopefully they will like them. Alright, thank you for requesting the video. And if you have any further, if anyone has any further questions or comments, feel free to comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.